dear students uh, this is our ninth lecture on molecular rearrangements and today we will be discussing valve rearrangement and uh, this valve rearrangement uh, is uh, popularly known as and estrate synthesis uh, and this is also known as and estrate homologation uh, the and estrate synthesis uh, this allows the formation of homologated carboxylic acids or their derivatives by reaction with uh, uh, by reaction of uh, activated carboxylic acids with diazomethane uh, and uh, further uh, reaction of these uh, diazomethane derivatives in presence of silver salts to get converted through wall free arrangement to the uh, products then uh, we can uh, get different types of uh, carboxylic acid derivatives if we use water or alcohols or amines as the solvent and uh, the mechanism of this reaction is that uh, in the first step when the activated carboxylic acid derivative uh, for example this acid chloride which has been formed from the uh, corresponding carboxylic acid for example if we are having carboxylic acid and we treat this with thionyl chloride we will get these types of acid chlorides and these acid chlorides uh, they will react with diazomethane uh, the negatively charged carbon will attack this electropositive carbon of the carbonyl and we will get these types of intermediates and uh, these uh, intermediates uh, they will be uh, the resonance hybrid of these uh, three structures and uh, these uh, diazo compounds uh, when they are reacted with uh, silver ions in presence of some nucleophile uh, in the form of solvent like water or alcohol or amines they will undergo wolf rearrangement and we will get these types of intermediate which are called as ketenes so ketenes they are uh, formed as intermediates of wolf rearrangement and then these ketenes they will react with uh, different nucleophiles if we react these uh, ketenes with water we will get carboxylic acids as the product similarly if we will use uh, alcohols as the nucleophile then uh, these ketenes they will react with the alcohols and we will get esters as the product and uh, if we use uh, amines as the nucleophiles then we will get amides as the product through uh, these uh, respective intermediate stages which will undergo uh, enol ketoenol tautomerism to lead to the formation of esters amides or carboxylic acids so basically uh, the conversion of a ketone a ketene into uh, these uh, products depend upon the type of nucleophile which we use during the reaction but overall the activated carboxylic acid derivative for example these diazo compounds through wolf rearrangement they are converted into ketenes as intermediate and these ketenes further lead into the formation of different types of product and uh, this reaction can take place either thermally and depending upon the type of substrates uh, the thermal conditions may range from room temperature to uh, 750 degrees centigrade similarly uh, this can also take place through photochemical uh, conditions also or uh, in the presence of uh, silver ions as catalyst so under all these three circumstances uh, we can convert uh, the activated carboxylic acids into uh, these types of derivative that is uh, carboxylic acids with one carbon more or amides or esters now some applications of uh, this uh, reaction uh, 
this art state synthesis is used uh, uh, to synthesize f mark beta homo amino acids uh, f mark is uh, fluorinyl uh, methyl oxycarbonyl uh, this is uh, the substitution fluorinyl this group is known as uh, fluorinyl group uh, then methoxy carbonyl uh, protecting group is used uh, for the protection of amines so if we uh, attach this group to amino acids then these types of uh, amino acids they are called as uh, f mock protected beta homo amino acids so these uh, f mock protected beta homo amino acids uh, they can be converted into alpha amino acids as the product so basically we are converting beta amino acids into alpha amino acids uh, through this uh, rt state synthesis so in the first step when these uh, substituted uh, beta am amino acids they reacted with uh, chloroethyl acetate uh, in presence of triethyl amine as the base these will be converted into f mock protected diazo compounds and these diazo compounds in presence of uh, uh, silver ions uh, and uh, water as the solvent water dioxane uh, medium as the solvent under uh, ultrasonic conditions uh, in 30 minutes will be converted into alpha amino acids so mechanism is same as we have seen in the previous slide first these diazo compounds on reaction with uh, silver salts they will be converted into ketenes and then these ketenes they will uh, react with water to give us the corresponding carboxylic acids as the product and overall beta amino acids they will be converted into alpha amino acids through uh, this reaction and from this step to this step the wolf rearrangement takes place then uh, this reaction is also utilized uh, for the synthesis of homopeptides that is uh, if we are having these types of diazoamides uh, these on reaction with uh, beta amino uh, ketones uh, in presence of silver salts they will be converted into homopeptides uh, and uh, the basic mechanism of the reaction is the same that uh, in the first step in the presence of the base uh, a carbonine diazo uh, carbonine is formed and this diazo carbonine undergo elimination of uh, nitrogen with the uh, shifting of uh, one to alkyl shift will take place to give us ketenes as the intermediates and these ketenes uh, then they react with uh, these uh, amino ketones and uh, we will get the homopeptides as the product so basic mechanism of the reaction is same that uh, these diazo compounds they are first converted into ketenes uh, through uh, wall free arrangement and then after wall free arrangement uh, the attack of the nucleophile uh, at this uh, carbon of the ketene to give us homopeptides as the product uh, then uh, improvement uh, in the synthesis of uh, alpha diazo ketones uh, can be achieved uh, when we can uh, use uh, minimum quantities of this diazomethane uh, when uh, calcium oxide uh, is used as acid scavenger so uh, in the presence of calcium oxide uh, this diazomethane will react with this and we will get alpha diazo ketones as the product and then we know that these alpha diazo ketones in presence of silver ions they can undergo wolf rearrangement to give us ketenes as the product and those ketenes they can be hydrolyzed to give carboxylic acids uh, similarly uh, trimethylsalyl diazomethane uh, this one trimethylsalyl diazomethane this can also be used uh, for the synthesis of uh, diazo ketones 
alpha dyser ketones as the product. So, overall reaction is that first these carboxylic acids they are activated to produce these types of uh, keto esters as the intermediate. Then these keto esters uh, they will react with trimethylsalyl diazomethane and they will be converted into diazoketones as the product. And these uh, diazoketones then can interact with the uh, silver ions to give us ketenes and those ketenes can react with different types of nucleophiles to give us different products like carboxylic acids or esters or amides depending upon the type of nucleophile used in the reaction. And then another example uh, of RT state homologation uh, is the synthesis of terpenes. So, for example, uh, these types of uh, beta ionones for uh, Z4 oxo beta ionone that can be synthesized uh, through RT state homologation. So, <coughs> when uh, 3 methyl 3 5 methyl furane 2 ile butanoic acid this one this substrate is uh, reacted with uh, phosgene in presence of uh, diazomethane then uh, this carboxylic acid will be converted into alpha diazoketone and this alpha diazoketone in the presence of silver oxide and methanol as solvent uh, will be converted into homologated carboxylic acid and this homologated carboxylic acid uh, under further reaction in four steps will undergo saponification and cyclization to give us beta ionones as the product. So, this is how these types of terpenes <coughs> they can be synthesized uh, with the help of aunt estrate homologation reaction or and ester synthesis. Then another example of Wolf rearrangement is uh, in the synthesis of beta lactams. So, when N protected alanine uh, this is uh, uh, benzyl carbamate uh, protected uh, alanine uh, is reacted with uh, chloroethyl estate. Uh, in presence of uh, diazomethane, and then this will be converted into alpha diazoketone, uh, corresponding alpha diazoketone uh, derivative. And uh, this uh, alpha diazoketone derivative uh, then undergo uh, photochemical irradiation in presence of N benzyl phenylamine. Uh, this ship base, uh, this will react with this ship base to give us uh, uh, these two uh, diastereomers of beta lactam. So, D1 and D2 uh, they are produced uh, as beta lactams. So, this is very important reaction uh, of uh, Wolf rearrangement to give us uh, beta lactam as the product and we know that beta lactams they are uh, very important uh, antibacterials. Uh, then aunt state reaction uh, of uh, mixed anhydrides which are prepared from uh, CBZ protected uh, D-proline. Uh, again uh, this benzyl carbamate protected uh, D-proline uh, will first react with uh, chloroethyl estate and uh, in presence of uh, trimethylsalyl uh, uh, diazomethane uh, will be converted into these types of alpha diazoketones and these alpha diazoketones uh, in presence of uh, silver ions then again will undergo Wolf rearrangement and we will get uh, the homologated uh, carboxylic acids and those carboxylic acids on reaction with uh, methanol will be converted into uh, the carboxylic esters through the formation of uh, the corresponding 
uh, ketenes as the intermediates. So, this is how this uh, benzyl carbamate protected diproline that will be converted into methyl pyrrolidinyl acetate as the product. So, these are uh, some of the references uh, which has been used uh, for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.